Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on page number 33 of the Classical Guitar Method, Volume 1. And this one is called Waltz by the piano composer, mostly known for piano music, Carl Czerny. He wrote a lot of pedagogy music and instrumental music for the piano. But this one has been arranged for guitar as a duet. So this is going to be really fun for you and I to play together. Let's go ahead and take a look at the notes. It says here that we need to be mindful of the dynamics. There are crescendos and decrescendos as well. And don't forget the articulations. This one has legato and staccato for each individual measure. Let's take a look at the very beginning. We're going to go over the notes as we play them. Ready? Ready from the beginning. We're not going to be mindful of the articulations just now. Let's go over the notes only. One, two, three. E, D, C, 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 F, E, D, 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 G, 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 F, E, E, F, D, E, two. Softly, yeah. to go over the notes. Once we are comfortable with the notes, we can now go ahead and focus on the articulations. And then the last thing we'll be working on is the dynamics. Okay, so we need to be very comfortable with the four finger exercises, playing each individual articulation correctly. We may need to practice that once, or of course we should practice that before we play anything on the guitar. Always being mindful of the articulations. Remember legato, no mutes, no breaks in between the notes. And then for staccato, we're going to play by rotating between I and M. At the beginning, when we begin, or, or, when, at the beginning on measure number two is when the staccato begins. So the fingering is going to be starting with measure one, M, excuse me, M, I, um, and then when we go to the next measure, it's going to be I am, which is meaning I mute on M, M mute on I, and then I mute on M. Always be rotating from one finger to the next, okay? Let's go ahead and try that out very carefully, starting with the first measure. One, two, three. E, D, C, C. Two, three, mute. Now you may have noticed that when I was playing some of these notes, when I went from one measure to the next, for example, if we look at measure number six, notice that we have two different uh, measures that are legato with the slurs. So when we have the slur ending, we need to have a space of silence between those two measures. Let's take a look at those notes. And what we're going to be doing is, before playing the next E, we're going to mute the string before playing the E again. Not a staccato mute, but just a regular mute to stop the string from vibrating, and then pluck it again to begin the next legato articulation. Let's start there at measure number six, which is on G. Ready? Here we go. One, two, listen carefully. Try that again. So I'm going to go ahead and indicate when to mute, and we're going to re-pluck E for beginning the next 
legato phrase. Ready? Starting on G, we go ahead and press down on G and F to prepare for the legato. Let's start with finger M. Mute with I, muting with either the same finger, but I would prefer the next finger so that we could begin with M. Let's try that again. So G, F, E, mute with I, because we just plucked with M, or if you want to pluck with M and mute with M, perfectly fine. But I kind of like to rotate, just because it's comfortable for me. Once again, M, I, M, mute with I, and then pluck with M. Two, three, let's try that again without any interruptions. Parry your fingers. One, two, three. Two, three, mute. So being very careful, very delicate with these articulations because we want to hear the space of silence in between the phrases. Let's go ahead and start again from the very beginning and we're going to indicate the articulations. Here we go. One, two, preparing the first part by pressing down D and C so that we can simply let go when we're done playing that string. One, two, start with E on M. One, two, three. or point out that it is a lot easier to and a lot more comfortable to play legato on the guitar by rotating or playing different fingers. Repeated legato, sometimes it's, easy, it's best to do that with the same finger. Let's move on. We're now on measure number nine, starting on that E. Ready? Bring it down once again, D and C to prepare. One, two, three. that I was very conscious of some of the other strings on the guitar that were vibrating as I was plucking these strings and I immediately brought my thumb down to mute them. That may be necessary and for that reason I like to hold the guitar with the top part of my palm or the bottom part of my palm and my thumb over the strings whenever they're not being used. So since we're only using strings E and string B there's no need to keep those strings open. We can just go ahead and mute the other ones. Let's start again from the very beginning. Now we're going to add dynamics. One, two, three. Have a crescendo here. shadow right there. Now once again start in a piano. As you can see, even I was sometimes repeating some of the fingers with different notes and different strings. But as long as we're able to comfortably repeat or take turns with each finger, I and M, it should make the legato a lot cleaner and of course the staccato 
a lot easier. Always try the staccato, as in right hand finger staccato, muting staccato, with different fingerings. Or if you want to staccato up here with the left hand, we can do that too. But for this lesson, we're just going to use the right hand mute staccato. Okay, so that's all the time we have for the waltz. Let's now try listening to my part and practicing your own part. Now I have these low uh, dotted half notes. Let's listen to what that's going to sound like. Ready? One, two, So I should have spaces in between. Two, three. 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 Release. Very good. So as you listen to that music, be prepared to play along with me and also to keep in tempo. I highly recommend that you use the metronome at 60 to prepare to play as the waltz, or to play the duet with me. Okay, so practice well, and we will see you at next lesson.